Here is how to calculate the ROAS or return ad spend on Google Looker Studio. And for this exercise, I will be using the Google Lads Connector by Google. I have a table here where I break down my data by campaign and the metrics that I am using are the ones that I will be using for calculating the return ad spend. One is all conversion value that represents the money I am making with my ads and also the cost that represents the ad spend. But I have a problem with these metrics because remember, the return on spent is the division of the total amount of money that you are making divided by your ad spend. And it represents how many dollars are you making for your business for every dollar that you spend on ads. That's the definition of return on ad spend. Now here, I have all conversion value, but there is a problem. There is also a metric that is called total conversions value. So which one is the correct one? Total conversions value or all conversions value? Because as you can see, they are very different values. Okay, I will be I will be bringing both uh, formulas for the ROAS. So Google Ads doesn't bring the formula ROAS. It is not named like that. There is an actual division. So they have the formula. Total conversion value divided by cost and all conversions value divided by cost. Which one is the correct one? As you can see for the first campaign, the ROAS that one gives me is 119. So for every dollar I spend on ads, I make $119. That's that's too much. I mean, no no business is, is like this. Uh, and the other one is $2. This, this makes more sense. For every dollar I spend on ads, I am making $2. So I have a potential winner here. And many marketers like me can confuse these values and calculate the ROAS incorrectly. So I will create my own formula to make sure I am doing it correctly. Here, I will go to add a metric and instead of using one of the formulas that Google Looker Studio or Google Ads has, I will create a new field. And this new field will be the summatory of my total conversions value divided by the total ad spend. I encourage you to calculate your own ROAS so you can uh, prevent these errors. And I will click on apply. And my new ROAS with the name I wanted is actually proving that it is the convert the total conversion value, the one that I need to use for calculating my conversions. So here is how you calculate the return on spend on Google Looker Studio.